I need to begin with a disclaimer. This video is going to be an active experience. I'm going to need you to do something in it. Don't worry, I won't ask you to get off of your bed or your couch or wherever you are. I'm just going to need you to pause this video for a bit, close your eyes and visualize, imagine some things that I'm going to talk about. I know that sounds proper weird, just trust me on it. And I also know that you are not going to want to do it. You'd much rather just sit there, mouth breathing and have me come on your screen, say some things for a little bit and go away. At the end of which you get to tell yourself that you saw a self-improvement video and made productive use of your time. I hate to break your bubble. But as long as you're not leaving the video with some takeaways, as long as you're not actively learning something from it, you might as well have just seen something entertaining. I promise you this video will help you. I promise you, you'll derive some value out of it. But for that, I'm going to need you to listen to me. I'm going to need you to do what I'm going to ask you to. If you know yourself quite well, if you know that you're not going to listen to a random guy on the internet telling you to do things, please, by all means, you have my blessing. Click away. For the 10% of you remaining, we can begin. I'm going to need you to believe what I'm going to say just for a few minutes. After that, you can go back to being your rational, your logical selves. But just for now, just for a little bit, throw them out the window, please. All right, I'm going to paint you a hypothetical now. At the end of which, I'll ask you to pause the video, close your eyes and visualize the things that I just talked about. Let's begin. By some mysterious grace, by some miracle, you are the one person who's been chosen to decide your future. You've been told that you'll wake up tomorrow to the future that you visualize today. You get to choose anything and everything that you want in your life. You get to decide what every aspect of your life is going to look like. And you've been told to go crazy with it. For instance, don't visualize owning a big house. Visualize your dream fucking mansion. Visualize every dimension of it. Visualize exactly what it is, what it is going to look like. Don't visualize owning a Porsche or a Lexus. Visualize your Rolls Royce. Visualize a chopper for fuck's sake. Visualize your dream mansion with a helipad on top with your beautiful red chopper sitting on top of it. Visualize the lifestyle that you want to provide for your children. Visualize the lifestyle that you want to have yourself. Visualize the humongous business that you want to own. Or visualize something completely different. It's your life, it's your dream. Visualize what you actually want. Ask yourself this because it's going to take you some time to figure this out because you've probably never asked yourself this. Ask yourself what your dream, your ideal, your perfect life would look like. What would your life look like if you got everything you ever wanted and everything you ever could want? We just set up one small restriction so that you don't go retarded with this visualization that whatever you visualize, somebody who was at some point in your position should have achieved. There are millions of people who were way worse than you can ever imagine and who achieved things that are way beyond what you will be able to visualize at this point. But for instance, if you're a five foot guy, don't say that you want to be in the NBA and don't say stupid shit like I want to fly or I want to go to the sun. I hope the instructions are clear. Now I'm going to need you to pause the video, close your eyes and visualize your dream, your ultimate dream, perfect life. I request you one last time to please actually do this visualization. I promise you this video will be 10 times more helpful if you actually do it. Pause in 3, 2, 1. Welcome back. I hope that was a nice experience for you. I hope you enjoyed it. But I mean, daydreaming is always fun. It's a nice break from reality at least. But at the end of the day, it is a dream. It is an imagination. It is not real. It's spoof. Nothing. What do you say we try to combine the two of these? There's one last thing that I need you to believe. I need you to believe that that dream can become a reality. I know that sounds absurd. I know that sounds so silly. But hear me out. There's a few things I want to address. Number one, no, this is not a feel-good law of attraction video where I'm saying that, oh, you just gotta, I don't even know how they go, man. That you gotta put out positive vibes into the, in, into the universe and you'll get, and, and it'll become true and you'll get what you believe. Nah, man, you are going to have to put in the work. Let's be clear about that. This is going to take your 100%. You're going to have to give it your all. 
you'll put in your everything and you'll realize that you still have a little bit left you'll put in that too and you'll realize you have just a little bit left this will go on until you really will have put in your 110 percent do that for 10 years and you just might have a chance at making that dream a reality let's be realistic this is the only way you have any shot at it number two it's been proven time and again that the number one thing holding you back that the greatest reason why you've never succeeded in life and the number one reason why you will always remain a failure is right here. It's your self-image, your self-limiting beliefs. Be honest with me, as soon as I said that these dreams can become a reality, you outright rejected that statement. Your brain didn't even take a moment to consider whether it was possible, whether it was feasible, whether it could be done. You outright concluded that that was blasphemous. That is your poor self-image. You 100% believe, you're convinced to your core, you believe from the bottom of your heart that those dreams cannot become a reality. And so they won't. There are no dearth of examples in history of people who achieved things that they had no right to achieve, that they shouldn't have achieved, that, there was, that, that were much less likely to come true than your dreams are. But they did anyway. Just a week ago, I got an offer from University of Sydney. I got accepted into University of Sydney for my masters. Two years ago, if you told me that this would happen, I wouldn't have believed you. Just the way you don't believe me when I say that your dreams can come true. It was about a year ago when I talked to multiple counselors and they saw my grades all from school to all through to the end, to, to the last semester of university. With a very obvious tone, each one of them concluded that I shouldn't even look at the top tier universities in my country and that I should start looking at and preparing myself for one of the mid to low tier ones. It was at that moment that I said, fuck it. It was at that moment that I said, I am not going to compromise on my goals. I had never in my life seen myself going to a third grade college and, and I wasn't going to start accepting that reality. It was at that moment that I decided to give the GMAT and to get a score so spectacular, so unexpected of me that it would compensate for all the below average grades I had gotten all through my life. And that is exactly what happened. I'm grateful for younger Sahaj believing in himself when no one else did. I have another example I want to share with you but I'm not sure it's appropriate because I haven't achieved it yet but I always wanted to be a YouTuber. Want is a strong word because most of the times we don't even know what we really want. We shy away from our own desires and our wants because we don't feel like we deserve them for some reason. If you knew me in real life, you knew that I was the last person you would ever expect to have a YouTube channel. I still remember when I would message people. There were so many people who would uh, record voice notes of what they wanted to say and send it back to me and I was the one who would be sitting there typing out what I wanted to say in response to voice notes because I was insecure of of my voice because I was insecure of, uh, of how I spoke. I couldn't have ever imagined sitting in front of a camera and saying something let alone putting it out there for the world to see. It was my dream to be a YouTuber in this hypothetical situation, this hypothetical that I had painted for you. If I'd asked myself, what do I want to do in a vacuum, ignoring all my insecurities, my skills, my abilities, my shortcomings, I would have said I wanted to be a YouTuber. But then I would come back to reality and know that it wasn't possible. I would tell myself that I am just a random guy who has never achieved anything in his life. Who the fuck do I think I am to make videos and expect people to watch them? And today I'm sitting here with... Wait, I, I want to get this right. Four hundred and ninety-six subscribers. It baffles me that there are almost five hundred people who subscribed to me to listen to what I have to say. And while we're at it, I'm grateful for every single one of you. Thank you for being a part of this journey of mine. I sincerely hope I'm able to provide some value to you with my videos. If there's one thing you take away from this video, let it be this: set dreams that give you goosebumps just by thinking about them. See, in my opinion, 
most of us are not able to be productive most of us procrastinate so much because we are not setting goals for ourselves in the first place we are letting society dictate our goals we are letting society tell us that our goal in life is to join a company and rise in its ranks rise in its hierarchies over 10 15 years now let me be 100% clear if that is you if that is what you want i know people who've spent multiple hours journaling and asking themselves what they want from their lives they what their dreams are what their goals in life are and they have come out with the answer that they are not materialistic that they do not want a lot of things that they just want a happy peaceful life if that is you that is 100% okay that is completely fine of course it is but i'm saying that there also are a lot of people who've convinced themselves that they don't want a lot because they don't feel that they deserve it so all i'm asking you to do is to put aside your self image for a while for a little bit and ask yourself what do you really want from your life it's much easier to move in the right direction when you know exactly what you want but when you don't even know what direction you want to go in how do you even move where do you even go let me leave you with one last thought in my opinion this is the only way to really live life imagine how much more fulfilling how much more meaningful life would be if you set ambitious goals for yourself without letting self limiting beliefs restrict you and then spent the entire rest of your life pursuing them sacrificing everything else for them just for the possibility to make those dreams come true i'll see you around